channel and in today's video it is very different I'm teaching you guys how to make brownies and not just any brownies fudgy brownies now I may teach you guys in another video how to make cake like brownies but today we're gonna make fudgy brownies sorry for the background noise it's um, my dad and I think sister are watching TV but anyways let's get on with the video what you are going to need is some uh, brownie mix, of course. You are going to need a one third of a cup of vegetable oil. You're going to need one fourth of a cup of water, a bowl, one egg, a mixer, which is right over here, and a baking pan. Before we get into the video, I wanted to say, wash your hands if you're making any food. I already did right before this video. But before you start mixing all of your stuff together, you want to preheat the oven, because I've got it preheated, to 350 degrees if it's a metal or a glass pan. But uh, you want to preheat it to 325 It's if it is a dark or coated pan. So first thing you're going to do is take your brownie mix and you are going to want to add it into the bowl. Now i got to figure out how to open this up. You always want to put it over because then if it, that's it, like if you spill it then it will be over this. I hope I can do more videos like this, cooking videos, because I like to cook. Alright, so I added all of the brownie mix in. I would rather be a cook than to be a chef because a chef, when they are done making their food and baking, they have to clean the kitchen afterwards. A cook, all they do is make their food and then they don't have to clean anything. And if I were to be a cook, I'd rather be a cook than to be a chef because I do, do not like cleaning. So next I'm going to add my fourth of a cup of water into my brownie mix. Mm -hmm. Next you are going to take your olive oil and put a third of a cup in it. And This is going to be some delicious brownies. That's my dad. Next, you're going to put your brownie mix aside and you're going to grab your one egg and you're going to take your bowl and crack it open. Hope I don't get any shell. Then I'm going to go plop this in the sink. But another tip is if you got shell in your bowl, then take some water on your finger and like you can pick it out. Next, you're going to take your egg and make sure there is no eggshell in it, which is, I don't see any, and you're gonna pour it into the bowl. You can make your own brownie mix, but I just got it from a box this time. But anyway, so the next step is you're going to put it and you're going to mix it all that up. Well, I got to make sure it's locked. Okay, and then just put it on slow. If you have a KitchenAid mixer, don't put it on high. You want to put it slow first. I forgot to say what you're gonna need is a metal pan or a glass pan and some olive oil spray. Then you're going to take your glass pan and spray it. Then you're gonna take your brownie mix and pour all of it in. This stuff has like, it, it's got like chunks of like, I'll hold it for you. Um, but, and then when you pour it all in, you're going to just spread it out around as much as you can. This is a huge pan, so it's not going to fill the whole entire thing. So I traded off 
pan, so a smaller pan. And if this is an eight by eight pan, and you want to put it in the oven for 35 to 38 minutes. And if you have a nine by nine, then 30 to 33 minutes. Six minutes started. Mmm, it's look delicious. So, guys, those brownies look delicious. I can't taste test them right now because they're for dinner tonight, so I'm not gonna eat them until dinner. But they look and smell delicious. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next video.